you know, this is a time right now where if you really treat people like family, they're really gonna feel it. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. So, so Ricky, uh, over here in New York, we just got banned from cold calling until September 7th. And uh, the rest of the market's panicking. They don't know what to do. Does that mean we can't call personal my owners? Do we focus more on our scripts for our personal circle? What's your recommendation if you can't cold call if your state bans it? Well, I just made a video on it yesterday, um, but at the end of the day, there's so much to do. Like, there's there's so much to do. Like, for me, I would never ever slow down, not for a second. I'm gonna take whatever the situation is and I'm gonna maximize whatever I can do. I'm not gonna focus on what I can't do. I mean, like, under the radar or off the record here, I'm just gonna throw it out there that Ricky would still be making cold calls, okay? Um, I mean, I call DNC, right? So what's the difference? What are they gonna do kind of deal? Like who's gonna turn you in? How are they gonna turn you in? What's the penalty? What are they, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, also I was reading deeper into that article and it seems like not all New York is under this. Only certain people that are in certain organizations and da 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 da. So there's a lot of uh, gray area going on there. So, but, Let's just say, let's just say you can't call, okay? Um, I got that out of the way, I got that out, but let's say you can't call. I, immediately, I would first go through all my past clients. I would literally go through my email, however long I've been an agent, I would go through inbox and sent, and every single person I could find a phone number to in their, in their um, signature of the email, I would call them, right? I would call and check on them, see what I could do to help them, see what, see what they're thinking, see how they're doing with the quarantine, you know, what are they looking to do? Are they waiting to see what the market does? Just continue to build these relationships. Um, there's so many things you can do. I would go back through all my past clients. I would call every single person in my phone. I would go through Red X, if you've been using Red X or whatever you use, I would go through all the databases that I've already called through. If you've been cold calling, you have all these subdivisions that you've been calling, okay? Tons and tons and tons of them. If you've had it for multiple months, you get 2,000 leads every month. So you should have like 10,000 leads that you've already called through once. You go back through, if you disposition them right, and you've, you've said not interested or never call again or you know, you know, interested or had a good conversation or whatever, if you can go through and call, you can use the disposition filter to call those people back that you had good conversations with. It's not a cold call. Somebody you already talked to. Hey, remember me? Yeah, I was just calling to see how you're doing through this. How's it going? What's going on? What can I do to help you? Okay, so you could go back through all those, all those people. You could go through them again. Filter by disposition. Right? You can do handwritten notes. Handwrite the envelope, handwrite the letter. They're going to open it. I used to do that by the truckloads when I was a new agent. That's something that you got time. You're sitting at the house, make your calls, make it a goal to do a certain number. You know, I'm going to do 20 handwritten notes and I'm going to call for four hours today. You know, whatever. You got to figure out what you want to time block, how you're going to do it, but stay busy. Then you can go through your entire email database. You can go through your inbox and sent folder. Go back years. Go back as far as you've ever been an agent and start emailing those people. Just email them. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? How's it going? Checking on you. Hoping all is well. Hope you're safe. Wondering about you. Stuff like that. You know, this is a time right now where if you really treat people like family, they're really going to feel it. Okay, so there's no reason in the world why you're not busy, busy, busy for eight hours a day at your house working the same, at the same rate, at the same production that you would if we were not in a quarantine. I know I am. I mean, I've been at my house for two weeks now and I haven't missed a step. I haven't sold as many properties as I normally sell, but I'm just as busy. I'm just as productive. I'm talking to, I'm talking to more people now than I was before because I am in the situation that I am. I've always said this, guys. I've always talked about the market crashing and that that moment would give me the opportunity to get back on the phone. I've always I've said this in videos for years and years and years. 
I've been talking about this for years and years and years. The moment that we're in right now, I've been talking about this for years. What to do, how to do it, how to prepare, how to think. Closings are still happening. Pull up your MLS and see if closings aren't still continuing to happen. Are there as many? No, but they're still happening every day. And as we come out of this, that's going to increase and it's just going to keep going to the moon. It's unlimited. You can't do it all ever in your life. There's more than you can do. You can stay up 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of your life and never even scratch the surface for how much work is needed to be done. Like, I, I don't know what to compare it to. Um, you know, I, I really don't. It, it uh, Trying to drink the ocean or, you know, some, something like that. Like it, you cannot do all the work. I don't care what kind of restrictions people put on you. There's always a way. I haven't even talked about social media the whole time I've been talking about this. That's a whole nother, that's an entirely different world. Everything I've been talking about, about this since Juan asked me the question, has literally not even been anything about social media. Okay, now let's move over to social media now, right? You can do what I just talked about for 24 hours a day until the quarantine's over. All right, let's move over to social media now. Let me give you guys some more stuff to do while you're sitting around wondering what to do because you can't make phone calls. How many people are on social media in your, in your area? Millions, right? Whatever the population is, that's how many people. So posting content every day. Continue to post content every day. Let people know that you're in the business. You're still here. You're still working. You're, still, you're not going anywhere. That's what this is all about when you're reaching out to people, calling them, emailing them, texting them, messaging them. You're, you're letting them know that this, the, what has happened has not scared you out of the business or hasn't put you out of business. What it's done is, is it's, it's made you lean into the business. It's made you commit more to the business. So that's what this is all about. And they're gonna remember that on a big scale as this thing straightens out. Social media, post every day, every day. Just continue posting, right? And um, messaging people. Start with your fan base, whoever has liked your page. Go through and message each of them one by one. How are you doing? How's it going? What can I do for you? Right? Message all your Facebook friends. You know, search your area, hashtag your area, or whatever hashtag is popular in your area, search that hashtag, go to the explore page, start liking and commenting and messaging everybody that, that posts something interesting about your area. Get to know these people. So much, so much. And, and with everything I just said, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. It's ridiculous.